Uh, that is comedian, writer, director, and our friend Bob Goldthwait doing what he calls a new type of therapy with his cat. He's here in uh, town to hang out at Lincoln Lodge. That's my cat, uh, Anderson Cooper. Uh, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, I, have, I, I have Anderson Cooper and Alice Cooper and uh, Robert Smith. I have a lot of cats. Oh, <laughs> my God, Dad. Oh, I interrupted you. Yeah, I'm at the no. Lincoln Lodge tonight, but the show's sold out. So. Uh, but you're, it's about this releasing your new album. I, uh, Talk about this. Is I have a brand new album. It's called uh, Soldier for Christ, which <laughs> <is> Why? Because <laughs> I found my first communion photo. And that's, oh, no. That's the cover. Oh, yeah. It's me looking all innocent and wow. stuff. So, yeah, and uh, and it's uh, tonight is going to be it's a, a benefit for the Trevor Project, which benefits uh, youth uh, LGBTQ uh, in crisis. And so I'm really happy it's sold out. They're really good people, and you can always donate to them, anyways. But it's like Tim Kazarinski's there. Uh, uh, I, I shouldn't say this, but my best buddy from when I was six years old, Tom Kenny, he showed up because oh. I found uh, songs. I found songs from when we were 15 years old, and it's on the album. Wow! And it's fascinating that two teenage boys wrote songs, yeah. and there's no mention of boobs or poop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's it's original songs, and we're gonna do them. It'll be the first time in 45 years. Do they hold up? I'm shocked. They're not that Terrible. bad. They weren't that cringeworthy. So, so we're going to do them live That's great. tonight. Yeah. I am astounded that when I'm reading that you, did you really first get on stage as a stand-up at 15? Yeah, yeah, 15. 15. 15 years old. And that's, but I've known Tom Kenny since I was six. I should say Tom Kenny's the voice of SpongeBob and about a million oh, other cartoons. Okay. That's why I say yeah, Tom yeah. Kenny, like, like, but yeah, Tommy and I, uh, you know, he, we met when a, uh, uh, I broke this nun. She was sobbing and um, <laughs> and, and in, in, in first grade. And he Meaning went. She threw up her hands and couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, she correct? Was like, okay. She's like, I can't take him, sister, oh. and left me in his classroom. And he, and at lunch, he came over and he's like, you know, he introduced himself. He thought it was cool that I could make a grown nun cry. Oh, no. <laughs> now, up here we were talking about three and a half weeks ago. I got a brand new shoulder, right. and yeah. uh, and and they go, they go, do you want a they go, do you want a cadaver shoulder or do you want a, uh, a you know, an artificial one? And I'm like, I, I, I don't want someone else's shoulder. I don't want to be suddenly like, yeah, you know. Like, <laughs> like, like, I want to know where my shoulder was January 6th. You know, I want to, I want to, you know, and I'm falling apart. I also, since I saw you last, I got hearing aids now. Oh, yeah. Uh, is yeah. that from being on stage, do you think, or does that happen with the I, speakers? You I don't know? think it, from screaming my act. No. I, think, <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's just, I don't know, the, but, uh, you know, I, I don't want to brag, I got the, uh, I got, I really, I have Bluetooth hearing aids. Oh, you're fancy. And they say you can answer phone calls, and I go, oh. don't, 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 don't set it up, I don't want that. Yeah. But uh, second night, I'm on stage with the hearing aids, and somehow I answered a phone call. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> my friend Charlie's like, hey, man, what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know, man. What am I doing, man? What, Where are you? What, I thought... I thought I'd be retired by now, man. You know, so, yeah, so Char Charlie's in my head. So. It's like Lindsay Wagner and the Bionic Woman. You could listen in on oh, conversations. Yeah, yeah I I've got, a, I got the, I got the hearing. Oh, you know what I do do the other, uh, the other night I was doing a show and there's this table that wouldn't shut up and I just oh. turned off that ear. I really did. I could, oh, I, could, that is crazy. I got an app and I just, I just did the rest of the Can't show. Can't hear you. Yeah. Is this the first? I would like to say yeah. this, yeah. that I'm in a committed relationship. I, you know, yeah. I, I know that there's a lot of women going, wow, he can't hear and, and he he's can't single. support his own weight. <laughs> <laughs> hubba, hubba. But he's off the table, ladies. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to talk about my ED. Um, <laughs> can I just say this? Yeah. And, I, and I don't want to be so cringy that I'm talk doing um, uh, 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 Viagra jokes, but, but um, what they don't tell you is that actually takes an hour and a half to kick in. Ah. It's not like Popeye having <laughs> spinach. Do you know what I mean? So that is the most fragile hour and a half right. of my week. Yeah. Like, uh, I take it, and I made the commitment. I'm like, oh, man, yeah. I hope we don't get in a fight. I hope we don't get in a fight. Right. I hope we don't get in a fight. So are you using a planner, or do you put this in your phone? Or <laughs> 
<laughs> you can't, I don't spring it on her, but it's like, it's like, it, you know, it, it's happening one way or the other. So I got, I'm on my best behavior. She's like, where were you? I go, oh, I was, I was, uh, I just emptied the dishwasher and <laughs> called your mom, said I love her. Just, just doing it. Just, just flying, flying right for the for that hour and a half. It is so precarious. Uh, and this is all right here in the western suburbs. Yeah, you're living this here. is all yeah. happening oh. right here. The, is it magical? Do you love it here? I do love it. I am the I am the king of DuPage County. <laughs> I, I, I am, uh, yeah, I'm a uh, honorary king of DuPage County. I love living here. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's almost uh, well, it's, this is the third spring, so yeah. yeah. Made it the too. show is sold out. What are you doing here? Don't you just call the producer and say, hey, oh, I don't need to come in I today. think to promote the album oh, and, yeah, and to good. promote the uh, uh, Trevor Project. But, yeah, yeah so, so the album, uh, it, you can get it. I think today it comes out, and it was, there it is. See? Oh, That's my me gosh, at the look at you. Boy. I mean, I mean, that was me, uh, First Communion. Aww. Uh, and it's put out by uh, Eugene Merman's record label, Pretty Good Friends, and it's a division of Sub Pop. And I'm very excited. To, uh, this album is different than the past comedy albums. I, I did, like, a residency at the Lincoln Lodge, and I would go there once a week and these are all personal stories hopefully it's funny but yeah. it, it, it's a lot more than just uh, what I do on the road yeah it's so good to see you again thanks for having take me take care Bob Kitts at the uh, Lincoln Lodge tonight at 8 o'clock so hold on you can't get <laughs> unless you know somebody and he's not single and it's an album yeah. release yeah. show and party with uh, special <laughs> guest Eugene Merman right, right. Oh. E let's go there uh, bad shoulder ED <laughs> and hearing aids again I'm not on the market ladies <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom.